This is a badly injured iPhone 12 Pro. Both screen and the back housing glass were cracked into pieces. Even the metal housing near mute button was bent. Fortunately, customer told us that only Wi-Fi not work. Let's start repairing right away. Take off cracked screen. We suggest using professional repair tool for rookie repairman. Test the motherboard with a DC power supply. We can power on the phone with battery directly. Apply high temperature resistant tape on face ID module. This is for protect the dot projector from static damage during repair. For better Wi-Fi function testing later, let's replace a new screen. Install screen. Connect the battery to motherboard, ear speaker and sensor flex. Power on and test the Wi-Fi function. Just like a customer's description, we can't use Wi-Fi no matter from home page or setting page. According to experience, we suppose it's connection problem between AP board and baseband board. We need a separate two-layer boards and check further. Peel off all of FPC protection foams and put the board on the soldering heating station. Lock the board. Turn on heating station. Adjust the temperature to 230 degrees and start heating. For easier board separating, we bolt a screw on AP board in advance. Temperature keep rising. Wait for 3 minutes after temperature rise to 230 degrees. Then we can start separating motherboard. Ok, now we can take apart the AP board. Let's check the AP board at first. We can see many solder joints were missing here. Then we test the baseband board. Here are a lot of dropped solder joints from AP board. Now let's analyze the damaged solder joints with diagram. According to diagram and motherboard, we can see the Mr. 10 solder joint is in charge of Wi-Fi signal. The false solder here will cause Wi-Fi problem. After troubleshooting, let's fix it now. First, we start from AP board. Melt solder tin floatingly on the solder joints and clean them with the soldering wick. After that, 
clean the board with the polyester cloth and PCB cleaner. Then let's repeat the cleaning process on the base bond board again. Now both boards have had the clean and flat solder joints. Then let's dig out the solder joints pin with a sharp knife and clean them one by one. Repeat this process on other main solder joints. After dig out the main solder joint pins, apply solder paste on them and form tin pins with soldering air. Clean with soaked brush and PCB cleaner. Apply solder paste again. Put the solder plates on tin pins accordingly. Set the hot air gun with 280 degrees and low air flow to melt tin pins. Then the solder plates can melt together with solder joints. Apply green oil on solder plates to make it more stable. Put them under UV curing lamp for 30 seconds. After green oil curing, scrape residual green oil on solder plates and clean with PCB cleaner. To assure Wi-Fi repair succeed, Put two bars on Mijin C20 testing fixture to check Wi-Fi function. Connect the air speaker and the sensor flex, screen flex, and the DC power supply cable. Press power flex interface for seconds to power on the iPhone with GND pen.
Enter shortcut page. Wi-Fi can be turned on and off. Enter setting page. Wi-Fi function also works normally. Confirm that the Wi-Fi was fixed. We need to rejoin AP board and baseband border again. First, let's rebolling team for the baseband board. Spread the team paste evenly. Put a baseband board on the disordering heading station again. Adjust the temperature to 230 degrees. Wait until all the tin paste melt to tin balls. Turn off heating station. Take off board until it's cooling down. Check rebounding effect. The tin ball should be rounded evenly and inclusion free. Apply solder paste on baseband board. Put the AP board on baseband board and align them carefully. Turn on heating station. Adjust to 230 degrees and start heating. We can press the board gently to judge if the tin balls melt or not. Heating for about 3 minutes. We can turn off heating station after all tin balls melt. Take off motherboard after cooling down. Install it back to the phone and start testing. Wi-Fi could be turned on and off from shortcut page, and in setting page, we can search and connect the Wi-Fi network now. Then we completed the Wi-Fi repair perfectly. For sure, we need to replace a new back housing for this iPhone, but we won't show it in this video. If you want to know more information, please check similar back housing assemble videos we made before. It is said the Wi-Fi problem is very often found in iPhone 12 series. What kind of Wi-Fi problem have you met? Please leave your comment and subscribe our channel for more updates.